is your take on learning about history or the social sciences in comparison with the hard sciences of physics and chemistry? Well, history, I think, is absolutely indispensable. Uh, Ayn Rand majored in history because she said you have to know the facts of history before you have a basis to say how man uh, should act and what kind of society he should live in. You have to see what has actually happened when he held uh, different values and created different kinds of societies. Certainly my career would have been impossible without some knowledge uh, of history, but I think history, for reasons I've given elsewhere, is one of the crucial subjects that should be taught from grade school on. Now, when you get to other uh, social sciences, I would say uh, there are some uh, valid ones, uh, economics, psychology, anthropology, <clears throat> depending on what is being taught, how it's being taught, how it's allegedly validated. Uh, and you know, in, in those fields, well, in history too, for that matter, they're totally dominated by a corrupt viewpoint. So that very much diminishes uh, their view. Now, of course, you could say uh, physics and chemistry are uh, dominated by a bad epistemology, but they are still restricted to some facts, which is not necessarily true in the others. Now, but as to the newer, quote, social sciences, uh, uh, sociology and multiculturalism and femininology, etc. Those are completely uh, worthless. Your chance of getting some truth is much better in the hard science because they are still under the sway of Newton to some extent, whereas the influences in the soft are almost all bad. 